This is N2LEN uh, with another quick uh, video clip. Here is the high gain um, antenna rotator direction controller plus. Uh, this particular control box uh, was upgraded with an uh, idiom press um, three light LED which is basically mounted uh, on top of the meter. You have to drill three small holes on top of the plastic bezel. And uh, then you just literally wire it into the existing light system. Um, we'll go ahead and turn it on. So you can actually see how bright the meter is. Uh, this is a late model uh, HAM4 rotator. We just finished servicing it. Um, basically uh, cleaned the uh, ball bearing races, uh, cleaned the direction potentiometer. Now, as you could see, I uh, purposely what I did was I moved uh, the meter and I turned the uh, rotator all the way uh, to due south to the right. Uh, I wanted to show you that the uh, meter is working. But if your meter does not work, uh, if there's no deflection, but the rotator is turning, uh, you may want to open up the control box. There is a 1 8th amp, 250 volt slow blow fuse that's mounted uh, on the board. You can get to it by literally just taking um, the bottom cover off. Uh, but anyway, uh, the, the rotator was in pretty clean condition. Went ahead and used uh, Deoxit D5. Uh, spray cleaner to clean the potentiometer, uh, re-greased using white lithium grease, repack the racings, the metal gears. Uh, when you're putting the brake ring back in, you just want to make sure that you have um, the peg on the brake ring actually pushes against uh, one of the stop switches. Uh, when you turn the potentiometer on the top to direction potentiometer, if you turn it all the way to the right, you want to make sure that the brake ring peg is actually pushed uh, the lever on the left stop switch. And we're going to go ahead and uh, release the brake and we're going to go turn it back and we'll show you what it sounds like uh, after a re-lube. So basically you release the brake and while you're releasing the brake, you can see the rotator is turning. We have deflection. And you can see the actual speed of the, the HAM4 rotator after it was just re-lubricated. I believe this is a 2009 rotator. That was the date on the back of the control box. Uh, it's running pretty smooth. Uh, you know, it still makes its noise. Let me get closer so you can actually hear it. Let me stop it for a second. When you stop it, there's a pause. And then the brake wedge, uh, which is an actual metal wedge, it actually snaps forward and locks into the gear, which is literally the bottom uh, basket. Uh, there are other pictures I have posted online. So once again, you release the brake, hold the button while you're releasing, and we're continuing turning uh, counterclockwise. You could see the LED. Um... When it gets to the end, you'll see how it appears, and then the brake will release. And that's it. Let's go ahead and uh, turn it the opposite way real quick. There we go. A little bit uh, different in sound going clockwise but you could see the potentiometer is very smooth the deoxid 5 does a great job of lubricating and cleaning the actual pot which I believe is a copper plated um, lever that literally slides on top of the gear system. It's 
pretty quick. And that's it. We're going to bring it back. And this is N2LEN with the HAM4 Rotator Direction Controller Plus control box and the HAM4 rotator. This is N2LEM Best 7-3.